workflow. All right, so I'm going to give you a, a sample workflow, and we're going to be using it within the exercise at the end of this unit to produce something. Okay, I'm not going to disclose that just yet, but let's look at the workflow. First off, let's uh, start out in object mode, and I have a square, okay, or a cube. Let's go in here to the wrench, add a modifier, and add a multi-resolution modifier to it. Let's hit subdivide. All right. Now, I know that I'm going to start out with something at least this high as resolution goes for this part, just because um, I want some vertices to pull around. So I'm just going to hit apply to that. I'm also going to add a new one and divide it further. But I'm going to back it down. And the reason for this is now I have the ability to go up and down as needed. Okay. Now, let's go into sculpt mode. Okay. In sculpt mode, you can see that it previews a little bit smoother. Up above, I have a brush. It's called the grab. As you can see, there's many brushes. Let's go to grab, and let's turn on X symmetry. Okay, now you can use your Wacon drawing tablet to move vertices around. And you notice, as you move vertices around, it mirrors it on the other side. Okay, I'm going to stop with this shape. One thing over here that you should know and we should turn on is under the box, we turn on wire. That way we can see the wireframe. One thing you should know also is we don't want to break uniformity. Uh, what's uniformity? Well, let's pretend for a second that stretching out these polygons too far is bad. This looks okay to me. If I go way out here though, that's bad, okay? So we want to keep within the limits and keep all these polygons square. Anytime that we get them really stretched out, it's detrimental to what we're trying to do here. And we're trying to produce good uniformed shapes. All right, now here's another part of the workflow. I'm gonna go back to object mode notice something, it switches back to the ball. Back to sculpt mode, you actually get the shape. Well, this happens because we need to apply that modifier. I like this shape, I'm just going to keep it and hit apply. Okay, let's add another box. This time, I'm just going to take this and move it down just a little bit. Move it over. We'll put it right there. Let's do that same workflow. Again, go over here, add a modifier, multi-res subdivide it and apply it then add another modifier I might need a little bit more resolution for this one let's go into sculpt mode use grab 
use X symmetry. Also, 1, 3, and 7. Don't forget those. 1, 3, and 7. Okay, 1, alright, can you see what I'm doing here? I'm basically producing a small figure, a very low res figure, basically made out of shapes. All right. And these shapes are very organic looking. Now you know how to make unorganic shapes, and that's by just inserting another edge loop somewhere in the area to make it a uh, harder edge. But we're going to make kind of like a little character just out of spheres. We're going to move them around, and as we go along, we need to turn on wireframe. Another thing you should know is the fact that I could take and divide this up and if I get my shape too out of whack, I can go up here to smooth. Smooth allows me just to smooth out the part. When I back it down, Okay, it applies it to the low res mesh. Now, if I'm really high, let's say I divide it even further, and I start smoothing or grabbing parts. Like that. Now when I go down, It should apply it, but if it doesn't, there's an apply base, okay? And what that'll do is apply it to the base. Duh. All right, one of the things I should stress out is I do not want to leave these very high res. I want to get a low res character, okay? So I want you to always back it down to what is reasonable, okay? Now, being that this shape right here is at a level two, I believe, or three, this one should also be at a level two or three. This will enable a poly count that will match both shapes so I can join them together later. Okay. Let's add another shape. I'm going to put something over here this time, and then in the next video, I'm going to have it ready, and I'm going to teach you how to get it to the other side. Okay? So, for right now, build a head and build a body. And then in the next video, I'll have like a little like shoulder piece that I'm going to show you how to get to the other side. All right, that's in the next video.